<laughs> Coming up big day, how'd that feel? Felt oh, good. I mean, especially after my first three at best, didn't start out the way I wanted to, but always got to be ready because you don't know uh, when the big situation is going to come up. Kind of like uh, Wednesday, we played Oklahoma State. It came up with the bases loaded, bottom of the ninth with two outs, and didn't get the job done. And told myself and when I made the double play, you know, I'm going to come up with a chance to win the game here and make the most of it. What goes through your head when some like a double play like that when it's just going by so fast? Honestly, I just kind of reacted to it. I saw the ball hit to me. It was hit kind of slower than I thought it was at first, and uh, dove and made a good play and ended up saw the runner go past me. So I knew I had plenty of time to get him out of second. So, but it was a huge play when we needed it most. So. The coach is talking about how much your defense has improved, how much can depend on you on defense. How much work have you put into that, and who have you credited for that? I put in a lot of work. I mean, credit two people, Jake Berger for one, and Matt Lawson, our coach Lawson, the other one. I mean, both those guys have – back when I was in high school, I didn't understand how important defense was. And when I got here, they just stressed defense, defense, defense. And especially working with Jake last year, I mean, the guy knows more than I've ever known in my life. And, just working with him every day and working with Coach Lawson made me a, a lot better. How much work did you put in with them? What, did they, what do you remember from uh, working with Jake and what just sticks out to you? The thing that sticks out to me the most was just his routine before the game or at practice. I mean, we did the same thing every day. Nothing changed. It wasn't taking 100 ground balls. It was just doing your routine and sticking to your routine. And take, I didn't get this the other day. Take me through the teeth thing. When, when did it okay, happen? So last, well, in third grade, I. Uh, did a face plant on concrete and knocked my teeth out. And then a couple years ago, when I was 18, I got crowns put in. And last year, we were giving each other high fives, and Ryan Skalnick hit me in the mouth on accident, and they shattered. Yeah! So, and they were, I, sh I snapped them off too high, and they couldn't fix them. So I got to have surgery in June to fix them. How weird was it? The, was this just a random thing that happened? Or? It was actually just a freak thing. We are at Minnesota playing, and just a high five, and just snapped them. I actually felt it. But it's, I mean, I've gotten hit there before, but it, it, I felt him and I could feel him on my tongue and I knew it wasn't a good thing. I saw guys saying stuff about it on social media, right? Yeah, my brother's a hockey player, so it kind of got that hockey player look. My mom doesn't like it, my girlfriend doesn't like it, my dad doesn't like it, but it's different. So, I mean, it makes me stand out and gives something, people something to remember me by. You seem to embrace it too. I do. I love it. <laughs> you know, it's, it makes me who I am. I'm a funny, happy go lucky kid. and kind of gives me a, my own little unique look, so I like it. Thanks, Sonny. Yeah. Congratulations.